was and how she felt about talking to the president, I, I didn't know that she has yet to see her husband's body. I mean, that was, wow, the idea that whatever happened to him such in whatever condition that his wife can't identify them and see them. And so she doesn't have that level of closure of just knowing that it's him that is in there. Yeah, that was really the most uh, profound part of it to me is that she needs answers about what happened and why his body's in this condition. And she, like she said, she can see a finger if that's all she can see, but she really needs to know that that's him and that that's what really happened to him. She needs answers. And like all the Gold Star families we hear from, she said the same thing. She echoed the same thoughts. She just wants people to know who her husband was, that he was a great soldier, that he had high hopes for a military career. People in these situations want us to know their names. And so while I give President Trump the benefit of the doubt of what he might have been attempting to say on that phone call, because we heard his chief of staff, General Kelly, describe...